Hello to everyone, my name is Georgios Papadopoulos, and I'm a system engineer working on robotics at Meta. Today, Kurt and I will give you a quick overview on autonomous solutions for data center operations. <clears throat> the industry is moving towards a new era with increased capacity and demand. Previous experience indicates that data and demand doubles every few years. Social media users nowadays require more data and more complex data. To address this challenge, the industry is adding both hyperscale data centers and colocation facilities. We believe that robotic technology will allow us to scale faster in an efficient way. A typical day on a data center includes activities related to data center core functionalities and also activities related to inspection, maintenance, and repair. Basically, keep the, the facility up and running. Workflows we're currently automating using robotic technology are mainly focusing into core data center functionalities. For instance, rack movement, disk displacement, and network repair activities. Next, we will focus into th two main areas where we believe robotic technology can provide big impact. <clears throat> the first use case related is the, is the first use case relates to rack movement. Data center design life is several years, several decades, whereas rack design life is several years. Therefore, it is expected to replace our racks several times during the entire life cycle of our assets. Rack replacement activities often require to unload racks from the trucks, prepare the racks on the loading docks, and then push the racks one by one from the loading docks to the data holes. The last, the last step often requires people working next to big loads while working several miles uh, per, de uh, per day. If one chooses to automate a certain part of the process, that will be the last step, the rack movement. Instead of working several miles per day, we can automate this part of the process and refocus our resources into the rack preparation, which constitutes uh, the next bottleneck and also a value-added activity. <clears throat> The second use case is related to meeting SOX compliance in an efficient and safe manner. Significant portion of our assets accumulates into racks and the equipment within. We have different type of assets. Some of them are trackable, some of them are not trackable. Some of them require logical verification and some of them require physical verification. Current processes in place require auditing teams to be traveling around in different data, data centers and different facilities to complete the auditing process. The auditing process, though, is a tedious activity that, of course, requires traveling, and at the same time, it cannot scale to meet, uh, to provide good coverage and physical verification in large number of our assets. We believe, on the other hand, that robotic technology is able to provide physical verification, which constitutes a pride form of verification for most of our assets in much higher frequency. So in summary, we get better data, more data, and without requiring traveling. <clears throat> this presentation focuses only into, into two use cases. However, the possibilities are endless. This displacement and this destruction activities, remote inspection activities, and repair enhancement activities, just to mention a few. We're looking forward to the industry support to join forces to first define problems worth of solving, and second, to promote development. Ideally, we need to build an ecosystem of companies around us, helping us to, uh, to address industry problems while we're committed to help them and guide them towards the development. The question is simple. Can we develop innovative solutions to enable people to be more productive and scale operations? And there are several solutions in, out, out there I think we can, we can work on. Rack movement and rack preparation, as we mentioned before, while handling those heavy racks. This uh, enhancement of the disk destruction process that will help us to boost the chain of custody while we're handling storage media. Asset scanning activities that will help us to meet SOX compliance requirements without uh, significant traveling. And also remote inspection activities for those remote facilities we have. Next, I will hand it to Kurt. 
Kerry will provide some exciting details about our progress in two main areas. Hello, I'm Kurt Myers, and I work on robots and automation at Meta. And I'm going to share some more details about how we are solving some of the concepts that Giorgio's presented here. First, let's talk about moving racks. Rack moving is a physical burden because of the weight and the size of the racks. They also need to move long distances. During these movements, the rack and the building can be damaged if a person makes a mistake. Our solution is to use a single AGV to move up to four racks. What you see, what you see here are multiple tugs taking racks from the loading dock to a drop-off spot near its destination. This is using a heister tug to pull JTEC carts. A lot of work went into the design and the testing of this cart system to make it capable of safely passing through our hallways and our doors. Each bay in the cart lifts the rack off the floor, and the carts feature four-wheel steering and additional safety sensors around them that go beyond the requirements of a normal, typical factory AGV. To make this possible over the long term, we need to consider some of the design guidelines for racks and buildings. For example, we lift the racks around the bottom perimeter, as seen in the first photo. We need clearance for these lifting points as the rack is inserted into the lifting bay. The rack needs to not hang out of the bay or interfere with the lifting mechanism and its sensors. Creating the navigation routes is also extremely challenging or impossible if some simple building design guidelines are not followed. The second image shows the robot and trailer pass simulation to turn a corner and also pass through a narrow doorway. Although the system can pass through the door, it triggers other safety requirements for the people that should be avoided. We believe OCP shall include standard requirements for automated rack movement. Now let's talk about assets. Pictured is a robot we've created at Meta. It has been performing many autonomous tasks over the past five years. Here we present robot audits of physical assets. The goal is to verify racks are physically located where our internal record says they are. The robot is scheduled to scan racks when the maintenance activities are suspended at night. During the day shift, the robot may request assistance to move through secure doors and into other suites where it will begin a scan the next night. Here's how it works. The robot receives a list of all the physical rack locations. The robot will navigate to a location in front of each rack. Using its sensors, it aligns itself to the rack for a good picture. The cameras take many images with different exposures. The results are stacked, enhanced, and uploaded to a server. Each image is tagged and the camera location with its camera location and orientation. Jobs running on our servers process the images, recognize the labels, and read the text on these labels. Because we know the camera position and the orientation, along with the optical field of view, we can project into 3D space where each label is located inside the building. The location is verified with the database, and if there's a mismatch, a ticket is created for someone to review. All the images are stored as proof. During navigation, there are several challenges. We use perfect maps generated from CAD, and this forces the robot to deal with errors in the maps. We use LiDAR and 3D cameras to avoid unmapped obstacles. Because there are thousands of racks to visit, the robot does its own planning. Advanced planning algorithms are used for the local plan to create smooth and efficient paths. Periodically, the robot needs to move to a different room where the halls are not part of the online CAD database. So we fuse LiDAR maps with these perfect maps. Our system could benefit from improved mapping and localization algorithms if anyone wants to work with us. Capturing a good image is not always easy. The robot must align itself centered and perpendicular to the view of the full rack. The cables in front can block, and view, um, can block the view of the labels, which come in so many different sizes. A standardized label with a 2D symbol would make scanning much more robust. However, one solution to the label occlusion problem that we've been working on is an extremely lightweight arm with a camera. 
The camera moves across the rack from top to bottom, taking pictures at various angles. This allows us to find more labels and get closer to each label for better resolution. The camera can also look over the top of the rack or underneath if required. I hope this gives you an idea of the types of projects we've been working on over the past year. We are looking for others working in robotics or automation that have applications in data centers. Data centers are filled with mechanical and electrical requirement or equipment to service and maintain that must operate 24 seven. Let's use robotic technology to make dangerous work safer, reduce repetitive work and prevent mistakes in record keeping. Please contact us at Meta Robotics Group through the email automation at ocproject.net. If you have questions or comments, please come and talk with us off stage. Thanks. Well, I just want to thank you for presenting uh, the last presentation at OCP mm -hmm. and thank the audience as well. So would you be interested in uh, leading a work stream around data center automation as part of the data center facilities uh, project? Just curious. Uh, Me or, uh, <laughs> or Georgios? Uh, both of you. Yes, uh, I will say that this is very important and this is the reason why we are basically uh, preparing the, this presentation. Okay. Right? I mean, we need to, as I said earlier, we need to build this ecosystem around us. And we are committed to help anyone that wants to work with us to f define problems worth of solving and guide them towards the development. So you, you're willing to help co-lead a, a work stream in this topic? Yes. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. We'll contact you shortly. Thanks. Any other questions? <laughs> Maybe next year we'll bring a robot. <laughs> yeah, thank you.